Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a lunging set for my Schleich courses. For materials, you will need felt, two or three millimeter ribbon, something to mark with, 20 gauge wire, six millimeter jump rings, 12 millimeter lobster clasp, scissors, pliers, cutters for the wire, and of course a hot glue gun with a hot glue stick. The first thing we need to do is cut a strip of felt. And I'm going to trim it so it wraps around the horse. So a little bit needs to be cut off. So I want it to fit about like this with a little bit of space in between. Now you're going to thread two jump rings onto the end of your ribbon and you're going to fold the end of the ribbon down, add a little bit of glue to the end, press it down, just make sure you don't get any glue onto the jump rings because we want them to be loose and able to move. And if any glue squeezes out, you just trim that off with your scissors. Now you're going to apply glue up the felt and you're going to glue the ribbon on just like this. Now you're going to cut the end of the ribbon about a few inches long. We will trim this again later. Now I'm just going to buckle this piece onto my horse. So to do the buckle, you take the end of the ribbon through both of the jump rings and then you bring it back through the second one. And then you just pull it tight. Now that I have this in position where I want it, I'm just going to mark on the side, very lightly mark where I want the side reins to attach. Also, while you have this piece on the horse, you can trim the end of the ribbon. And then just add a little bit of glue to the end so it doesn't fray. Now you're going to thread a jump ring onto the end of the ribbon. And you're going to glue the end of the ribbon right on top of one of the marks we made. And you're gonna make sure to leave a little bit sticking out on the end. Next, you're going to glue this little piece of ribbon down onto the back. Now you're going to push this jump ring in really close to the felt, and you're going to cut the ribbon just like that, and you're going to glue it down onto the back as well. So this is where we're going to attach the side reins, and you're going to repeat this on the other side. So we've finished making this piece of tack for our lunging set. This is called a surcingle, and I have a real one of these for sunshine. So we are now gonna set this aside and we're going to make a bridle. First thing we need to do is on our horse, we need to measure a piece of ribbon for the nose band. Then we're just going to apply some glue to one of the ends and we'll loop it around and glue it to itself so it'll look just like this. Now we're going to thread our ribbon through the nose band and we're going to fold it over and glue it down and we're going to leave it loose so the nose band can slide. And now we're going to cut it about this long. Now we're going to simply make a buckle with our wire and our pliers. So you just place the wire in between the pliers and you wrap the wire around just like that and then pull the pliers out. Then you cut the buckle free of the wire spool. Now what I like to do is take a pair of really big pliers and I put the buckle in between and then I just squeeze it really hard. That way, this just kind of seals it all together. That way the ribbon won't slip out. And lastly, you just trim off any excess wire that is sticking out. Now we're going to thread the buckle onto the little piece of ribbon we just glued on. So you just start with going up through the bottom and then down through the top. And then you're going to take the end and you're going to fold it down and you're going to trim it, 
Then add a little bit of glue to this end and glue it down, making sure not to get any glue onto the buckle. Now on the other side of the nose band, we're going to do the same thing, gluing on a piece of ribbon, but this time we're going to cut it quite a bit longer. Now we're going to take the end of the ribbon we just glued on and we're going to thread it through the top of the buckle and then down through the bottom of the buckle. You're going to need to make another buckle and you're going to thread it onto the ribbon just like this. Now you're going to pull it to the end and you're going to take the end, fold it over, glue it down, and once again you don't want to get any glue onto the buckle. Now you're going to cut it about this long and you're going to take the end that you just cut and you're going to thread it through the buckle. Now you're going to take the piece of the bridle that we made earlier and the piece we just made and you're going to take this piece and place it on top of the other piece like that. And now you're going to take a piece of ribbon and you're going to glue it. You're going to loop it around both pieces. You're going to fold it over and glue it and not get any glue on these two pieces. Now you're going to cut this piece. So about that long. This is going to be the brow band, so if you need to measure it, you can easily slip this on your horse. And then you're just going to take the end and you're going to loop it around. And basically you're going to do the same thing. So once you have it glued down, it'll look like this. Now you're going to open two jump rings and you're going to take one and you're going to slip it through the little loop of the ribbon where the bit is going to be. And these little jump rings is gonna look like the bit and you're just going to close them. And of course, put the other jump ring on the other side. Now I'm going to put the bridle on Toronto and adjust all the buckles. This is what it looks like. Obviously, these pieces of ribbon are much too long, so I'm just going to trim them. And of course, add some glue so they don't fray. So I've just put on the pieces of tack we've made so far and next we're going to do the side reins. So we're going to take a lobster clasp and a jump ring and we're going to open the jump ring and put the lobster clasp on the jump ring. Then onto the jump ring we're going to glue on the ribbon and we're going to cut the ribbon pretty short. Then you're going to make another buckle and you're going to thread it on to this little piece of ribbon. Then you're going to take the end, fold it down, and glue it. Now you're going to attach another lobster clasp to a jump ring. Then you're going to glue ribbon to that jump ring. And you're going to trim the ribbon about that long. Then take that end and thread it through the buckle. Then take the end of this ribbon and thread it through the buckle of the piece we made earlier. Now you're going to attach one of the lobster clasps to the bit on our bridle. And then you're going to attach the other one to the surcingle. And then this piece of ribbon, we're going to trim it. And then add glue so it doesn't fray, of course. And that is the first side rein. And of course, you're just going to make another one for this side. And here we have it, the second side rein. And our set is almost done. Now we just have to make a lunge line. We just need to open a jump ring and attach a lobster clasp. And onto the jump ring, you're going to glue the ribbon. And you're going to cut this piece of ribbon pretty long because it's a lunge line. And you're just going to take the end and loop it over, glue down the end, but leave it so there's a little loop so the Schleich riders and people can hold on to the line. And then you just clip the lunge line to the bridle and you are finished. 
Also, if you wanted to make polo wraps to go with this set, I have a tutorial on my channel as well on how to make those. I think Toronto looks lovely in these colors. And if we, if you know Toronto, she definitely needs some lunging. So I think Teresa is going to be doing that in a video soon. So we will see you then. Bye. Why is it not coming out? My goodness. Oof. Messy, messy.